I'm here with Jeremy Corbyn, who's standing to be leader of the Labour Party. I'm just going to ask him a few questions. So, do you think that a socialist candidate can make a good case to middle class voters? Yes, because all voters get old. Yeah. All voters know people who are young or may have children themselves. All voters need a health service. And all of us, whatever our station in life, are one road accident away from severe disability and we need a welfare state to support us. Yes, uh, there has to be an act of social solidarity and yes, of course we can. Yeah. Do you think that um, you can win back voters from UKIP and the Tories when you're seen as sort of the face of left-wing politics? And sort of, you, I reckon you win like quite a lot of Green voters back, but do you think you'd be able to win back people who voted UKIP? Yeah. Many people voted UKIP out of um, either a complete false sort of blaming those that have migrated to this country have been the cause of all the problems, or voted UKIP out of sheer desperation. They didn't think any of the other parties were offering anything that meant anything to them. I've talked to people in Thanet and many other places who voted UKIP. I've had some quite interesting discussions with them, and they said things like, well, if Labour stood up for us, working class people, yeah. then we'd vote for it. And so, yes, of course we can move people back. There has to be a process of political education, yeah. political activity, and giving people hope. If all you offer is um, austerity light, well, it's not much of a choice. Yeah. Why do you think that so many working class people voted Conservative and thus against their own interests, arguably? You know, why didn't they see that it was Labour who were the better choice for them? They had uh, given up on Labour offering them anything that yeah. meant something to them. In the post-war period, Labour used to get, originally in 1940s and 50s, 80-90% of working class people would vote Labour. And that number steadily declined. And it was claimed by various sociologists it declined because of the embourgeoisement of the working class. I think it's declined because Labour became a very centrist party, and particularly after the new Labour control of the 90s, became a very centrist party that essentially offered a market economy in an only marginally different form to that which the Conservatives offered. Um, do you think if like, Liz Kendall won the leadership battle, because her politics are so different uh, to yours, would you then say that your politics would be more similar to that of the Green Party than it was to Labour if she took it further to the right? My politics aren't going to change. I am yeah. what I am. Yeah. I'm a socialist and uh, I've been in the Labour Party and the trade unions all my life and that's where I'm staying. If uh, somebody attempts to move the Labour Party away from, further away from the very principles that I believe in, then I will obviously campaign for something very different. Yeah. This leadership election has become a cipher for a policy debate. I didn't yeah. want a leadership election, I wanted a policy debate. Yeah. So we can actually debate our economic strategy, our international strategy and all these things. That didn't happen, we've got this and so yeah. this is a debate. It's fascinating. The number of people that have come into the party because of this, yeah. become excited in politics yeah. because of this, that's great. Yeah. That's great. So let's have um, a popular voice outside Parliament pushing MPs in Parliament. That's how it should be. Um, do you think that this government has let down young people and what would you do if you were elected leader for young people? It's let down young people in a lot of ways. One is the move away from grants to fees um, uh, and uh, increasing student fees and now taking away the residence grant as well so that every student will now end up with yes, massive debts awesome. and the argument used by the Chancellor was that people who graduate earn more therefore they should um, borrow the money and pay it back. I don't agree, I think people should be taxed because they're wealthy not because yeah. they're educated yeah, definitely. and so they've done it in that way. Secondly on employment rights on zero hours contracts and all those kind of issues are a serious problem and that should be dealt with as well. Uh, what would you do if you were leader? Like, what would you well, the, the first thing is to improve the wage rates of young people through the national minimum wage, improve the living situation through issues such as the room rate and above all improve the situation through much better better quality apprenticeships and an end to zero hours contracts and an end to unpaid internships and unpaid probationary work periods. Thank you so much, I'll let you know. You're very welcome, is that helpful to you? It was, thank you very much, thank you. Sorry it got a bit noisy.